Hello and welcome back to another Cookie Take video. And a video you're probably not used to seeing is a video that's on my phone. So here we are on my phone on my favorite alt account, Cookie Take Pro, and today I'm going to be showing you on how you can add a brand new Roblox feature called Captures into your Roblox game. So before we get started on making this integration, I'm going to show you how it looks inside of a Roblox game. So let's say I join my example game here called Capture Testing. I'm going to click on the green play button and then let's see what happens, okay? So I'm just going to make my phone landscape here. Let's see. Okay, oh, okay, it looks like we had some loading issue there. But as you can see, I'm going to walk around and as you can see, it just prompted me to save a capture. So I'm going to click save and it's going to give me the option to share. Now I've also made it so that in a timer that expires after 20 seconds is going to give me the option to share that photo. Of course you saw, you have only the share option there, but before you had the option to save. So let's say I click on share, it's going to open up this brand new window that is provided by iOS, and it's going to give me the option to share with all my contacts. And you may be thinking to yourself, okay Noah, you just shared your image, but what happened to that image prompt earlier where you were given the option to save it? Where does that go? And now that is a mighty good question. And that's why if we open the Roblox menu, you're going to notice that right here, there's a capture menu. And as you can see, we have all of the cool screenshots that have been automatically taken. You can also make it so that the game can automatically take captures, however, if you want to manually approve them, you can set it to off. Now what's so great about this is you have a carousel of all the captures, and you can download them here, and you can also um, share them, and you can delete them, which I think is super cool. So let's head into Roblox Studio, where I'm going to be showing you on how you can make this for your own game. Okay, so here we are on Roblox Studio, and before we get started, I have a couple of important things to mention. Number one, this feature only works on mobile devices at the moment. I believe you can test it in studio, I think that is possible. However, it's important to note that your desktop players cannot use this feature at the moment. I'm sure it's something that Roblox plans on adding, but at the moment this isn't possible. And in, and in addition to this, the account that's using captures must be 13 plus. I'm not sure why, but it is a certain requirement by Roblox. So now that that's out the way, let's prepare to make our code. So first of all, it's super important that we make this as a local script, okay? So we're going to head over to started UI, click on plus, and then create a local script. Now the reason we're doing it as a local script is because the user is going to be able to share it and save it to their own device. As the server, we obviously can't dish out and take screenshots of what the client is seeing, as we are the server and we can only see what the server sees. So first of all, we're going to have to define our capture service. And our capture service is responsible for pretty much everything related to saving the image, sharing the image, and taking the screenshot. So let's begin by importing it and uh, defining our variable. So let's first of all define our variable, local, oopsies, local capture service equals, and then let's initialize it by getting game, colon get service, capture service. Now in addition to this, there may be a couple of things we want to customize when our capture service takes a photo. So let's just import the local GUI service, or the GUI service, sorry, local GUI service equals, and then game get service, and then GUI service. Now we can get a screenshot HUD from the GUI service and customize some of the properties. So. Let's say local screenshot hud hud equals gui service wait for child screenshot hud. Now the screenshot hud has a couple of parameters that we can change in order to suit our needs. So let's say for example we wanted to change what the player can see in the screenshot. So let's say for example we wanted to hide all of the gui on our player's screen. So let's just say, as for example, they had a screen UI inside of my game, and there was a frame over here, and another frame over there. Let's say we had these permanently there, but when we take a screenshot, we don't want them to be visible. We can just say screenshot HUD dot hide player GUI for captures. Uh, whoopsies, I made a typo. Screenshot HUD hide player GUI for captures equals true. 
and this means that those frames that we had previously would not be visible if this was enabled. Also, as you know, let's just head into the game right now, and as you know, Roblox has a HUD, and that's this thing up here, and sometimes we might want to be able to hide that. And that, once again, is also super easy. We can just say screenshot HUD dot hide core GUI for captures, and then we can set this to true. And that would hide the core GUI and also hide the player GUI. So let's experiment with that a bit later. Now, let's create the logic that handles creating the screenshot and then prompting it to save to the gallery. So let's drop a couple of lines here and say, wait five, so we wait five seconds before we take the photo. Then let's use a print statement just to keep track of where we are in the code. And in here, let's just say, take a capture, exclamation mark. And then let's drop another line and say capture service, colon capture screenshot. And we're going to notice we need to pass parameter here on capture ready. So once the capture is done, we need to do something. So this handles creating the capture. And when the capture is created, it creates a temporary ID with the it creates a temporary ID with the photo contents inside of it. So let's make a function above this and say local function screenshot completed. And let's just say in here, content ID, and then we can just say end. So now that we have this function here, once the capture screenshot is completed, we can just pass screenshot completed and then it's going to pass us the content ID. Now the content ID is temporary and is just used for saving. Now that we have that done, we want to make it so that the image is saved to the gallery. So let's just say print, and then in here we're going to say capture service, colon, oh, no, we don't want to say print. We want to say capture service, prompt, uh, save captures to gallery, and we can save multiple captures if we want to. Uh, using that array here, but I just want to pass the current photo we've taken So we're just going to use our squiggly brackets and then pass content ID Now we also need a result callback and this is going to tell us if it worked or not So we're going to create another function up here local function and then success and uh, We can just add success in here drop a line and then let's pass success in here and then let's print success to see if it worked or not now this is looking all well and good, and let's see if it works. Um, so we're going to head over, and then we're going to click on play. Now we're loading up here, waiting for it to go, and then it should wait 5 seconds, let's see if we can view our output, loading, okay, and it asks us, do we want to save our capture, we can either click no thanks, and as you can see, when we click no thanks, this is the success parameter that was given to us, and it provides the temporary content ID, and I believe it says false because we clicked no thanks. And if we click yes, I believe that should be set to true. So let's give it another go. It's going to load up here. There it goes. And once again, it's whirling away. And if we click save, you can see it was set to true. And obviously, we have the option to share. So sometimes you can force it to be shared. But when it is set to prompt save captures to gallery after you've saved it to the gallery it does give you the option to share but of course we can also make it so that they have to share and that it won't save to the gallery okay so now i'm going to show you how we can make it force prompt share capture so we can keep this logic kind of here we need to continue to take the screenshot but instead of saying prompt save captures to gallery we're going to say prompt share capture okay now we don't now when we do sharing, we can't pass multiple content IDs, so we're just going to pass this single content ID. And now you may be thinking to yourself, what's launch data here? Now if we head over to this post on the dev form called developer deep linking, you can see all about it. Essentially how when you create a Roblox link, you can pass some data that is sent when the game is launched. That's a bit out of our scope for this tutorial, so we won't be covering this in today's video. However, I think if you do take a look at this, it can be pretty simple and you can see why we need this. However, we're just going to pass nothing, so we're just going to use uh, the string here. And then we have on accepted callback, so if it was accepted, and then we can also have a uh, denied callback. So we have uh, success here. And we can also make a failure here, and we can print the failure through this function, and then we can pass them, so we could pass on accepted, success, and on denied, failure, 
and that's looking all good. Now I can't remember exactly, but I don't think we can actually run this test in Roblox Studio. So I'm going to try, if not we're going to head back to my lovely phone and see if it works through there. So we're loading up here, should wait 5 again and take a capture. Loading, loading, load it. Well, it's not loading. Um, oh, it did let us give it the option. So if we click no, uh, it did print nil. Okay, so, so it doesn't seem to pass a parameter. So we just have to say print and then failure. A bit of hard coding will never hurt. And then success when it passes. So if we just give that a go. So we can test it through Roblox Studio. My apologies. Of, of course, you can't save it or actually share it. And then it's going to load up here. Give it a second. So if we click no thanks, it's going to print failure but if we run it again it should print success okay so here we go we're loading up into the game once again we're going to have to wait five seconds uh, there we go and if we click share it prints success and then we can click share and of course it can go through there so thank you so much for tuning in to today's video i hope this helped you and if you want to support me talk about roblox or anything like that head over to our wonderful uh head over to our wonderful forum on forms.thecookie.dev which will take you to this wonderful website where you can talk about Roblox, ask for help with your scripts and do anything. So thank you for tuning in again, that's all from me and bye bye.